We're going to move to the next topic, and that is about a new tech training program that we launched this year at the Research Park. I'm going to be joined by two guests, Neil Davis from the Computer Science Department, who works on the Software Carpentry Program at the University of Illinois, and a participant in our tech training program this summer and fall, Emilio. So let me tell you a little bit of background about this program. We got kicked off this summer based on the need to really enhance our ability to deliver skills in software and data to more of the community and to more students, and also to do so in a way that improved our diversity and inclusion of new populations, whether those are working adults looking to join the digital workforce or populations that typically have maybe not been um, as represented in these particular industry fields. We also saw entrepreneurs looking to learn technology skills to be able to make new ideas or inventions possible. So Neil, tell us a little bit more about your experience this summer doing this program on very short order. We had a huge demand for interest in doing this types of training, which we were able to offer for free by partnering through Software Carpentry. And we're excited that we'll be launching it again in January with a new cohort. Neil. Absolutely. Uh, this summer, we, did, we elected to base the curriculum that we're teaching on a program called Software Carpentry. This is a longstanding collaborative curriculum that's been taught um, by hundreds of instructors for thousands of workshops and been, it's become a very well-polished uh, curriculum that's speaking to researchers, it's speaking to data scientists, it's speaking to analysts and um, people who are seeking to break into the industry. And it's, it essentially aims at trying to help researchers get their work done in less time and with less pain. Um, it's focused on teaching basic, uh, I'm going to say basic computing skills. And what I mean by that is it's trying to give everyone a really good model of how things like program design and data management and task automation and data analytics work. So in the spring, we're going to be continuing this by teaching more hands-on workshops, which cover these basic concepts and tools in a way that we intend to familiarize the participants with the fundamentals of how computers are used to manage and analyze data. This is going to mean some work on the command line. It's going to be a little bit of programming and using other tools to um, databases and image processing. Um, we're gonna be talking about everything from the basics of, of task automation, right? Computers are good at repeating things, so we want them to do that work for us. And we're gonna range from there all the way through database activities, a little bit of data mining, machine learning aspects. And we're gonna teach this in short online blocks spread over several weeks. We did this over the summer. It was uh, very successful. It uh, allowed us to hone a lot of our thinking about how we want to uh, structure this and we'll be expanding the slate of topics that we're able to teach as a result of that. Uh, there's also going to be a capstone project for which participants will be able to put the ideas that they've uh, discovered and learned elsewhere uh, into practice. We're gonna model this on agile principles. Um, you know, Agile is a, is a uh, software development practice that's used extensively in particular uh, contexts like Scrum we're gonna model it on these principles to encourage the team project to be approached the same way as an industry project would work. Uh, doing it that way should yield a very fine portfolio piece for anyone seeking to break into the data analytics industry. Um, Research Park is also, also going to be offering a, a badge for completion of the workshops and the capstone is my understanding. So I'm excited to see uh, what this turns into and what we can do with this. Thanks, Neil. I think we want to hear from Emilio about why you decided to do this program this summer and how it helped you gain more skills. All right, so um, thank you for having me. Um, I um, basically, I started wanting to do front end development. Um, I learned HTML and CSS. Um, and then I got an email, um, forwarded an email um, from somebody who was on your uh, mailing list and they said, oh, look at this uh, training program. And then I signed up for it. Then I was in, and then that coincided with my finishing CSS. 
so then I, so I was, I was like, oh great, I can kind of, you know, structure kind of like a, you know, a boot camp. So then I just, you know, went on and um, learned all this stuff from um, um, from the people at the at the research park. Um, uh, my capstone project was about um, weather data. I, we used Python to um, basically um, use LXML scrapers to take um, target data from uh, local um, local weather stations. Um, and then also we used um, the NOAA website to um, kind of dynamically update um, these uh, these data plots, which is the output. Um, and we also built functions to interact with um, the uh, the carpentry's functions. It's kind of hard to explain, but I it's uh, yeah. So that was that was very helpful. Um, I was I also found it to be very useful to get um, a very um, wide uh, variety of um, background information from uh, learning about uh, bash commands um, and uh, just a wide range of other things that I would that I uh, I kind of. I kind of changed my my interest from front end development to something else. Now, um, hopefully, I'm hoping to do something having to do with um, uh, uh, networking, um, kind of working towards uh, some sort of administ uh, uh, maybe like a Linux administrator. Um, so yeah, I was I felt very very um, lucky to um, have a chance to work with. Uh, you know, experts in the field. Um, I mean, it's just, it was very awesome to be able to um, uh, basically have this great opportunity to just learn so much um, this summer. So, um, and yeah, uh, so it kind of, uh, I think it's great because it, it includes a lot of the community, um, people who are maybe like non-traditional, like I come from uh, uh, the kind of philosophy background, um, I've also done some um, English teaching, um, and uh, as English is a foreign language. Um, and I guess moving forward, yeah, I would I'd like to um, incorporate some of the things that I learned um, with uh, uh, with the uh, yeah kind of networking and everything. I would like to do something with networking. So great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I think your story is important, Emilio. There are a lot of people who might be able to enter into the data science field as we were describing all day today, but might not have come from a computer science or an informatics background. And just as you described, this was a way to, be able to begin to learn more skills and build your confidence in entering this type of discipline. And hopefully you'll interact with the companies as well. We're having a networking session that will start in about five minutes with cool. employers that are looking for this kind of talent. As we've described today, it's pervasive across many industries and many academic fields. Software Carpentry has been teaching people how to enhance their software and data skills all across campus with academic um, needs and for different research. Now this program had about 160 applicants this summer. So I'll say Emilio was one of the participants that we selected. We were overwhelmed by the interest and the quality of the applicants. If you're interested in participating in the program, we've put in the chat a link to get emails. We will be recruiting a new cohort to begin in January. Rebecca Motley is our new program administrator that will be helping and Jenny Kim on our team, who many of you know as well as our assistant director for workforce, will be helping to continue this program to continue across central Illinois as well. So you don't have to be a U of I student, you don't have to be a researcher, and you don't have to have worked in data science before. I will say some skills that are helpful, and this might be the mom and me as well, is Math is always important in these areas. So we are looking for people that have some ability to work in computation and be able to pick up the skills that this will begin to um, develop further. Neil, Emilio, any other thoughts you have to wisdom to offer future participants in the program? What, what we're aiming for is a program that if you've, if you've 
had exposure to computer science um, programming, but it's, it's been many years. It's something that can ease you back into working with that. If you've had exposure to mathematics or statistics, but you've forgotten a lot of it, uh, you know, this is a good way to, to warm up to that. And we're, we're starting very gently with the material that we're looking at as far as the, the programming aspect of it goes. So uh, please don't be intimidated by that. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you in the program. Thank you, Neil. Thank you, Emilio. And for all of those that are participating today, please encourage, uh, please be encouraged to apply to participate in, again, a free program that we're offering through the Research Park with the help of the US Economic Development Administration. This spring, it will be offered again as a way to broaden the skill set 